One of the most important functions of local government is to maintain a strong and livable community by effectively controlling land uses. One of the most effective ways of controlling and managing the various activities in a town is by creating zoning. Usually, a community will create a zoning map, such as you see here, which constrains the land uses in various portions of the municipality. It's possible to create and use a zoning map inside of ArcGIS. The town of Parma has a shapefile, a spatial data set, which contains the zoning information and it looks like this. And this is the zoning map for the town of Parma. And you can see by using some GIS tools that various zoning categories are agricultural and conservation, rural residential. One can see that this information is reported as attributes of each of the polygons. Another rural residential medium density residential, light industrial, and other land uses. This data set is highly precise. In fact, a zoom in will show that these boundaries are very precise and very accurately represent the desires of the community for managing land use. In addition, this application can also, um, can also show the road network within the town of Parma for more effective reference to where these various zoning categories are. And in this diagram, we can see that there are roads that are maintained and administered by the village of Hilton, the county of Monroe, New York State, and the town of Parma. And one can see by using, again, using the identify tool that this data set contains a very significant amount of information about each of the road segments in the town of Parma. For instance, this road segment is known as Hilton Parma Road and it has that particular segment that was, just, um, that was just clicked on, has a certain length, a certain expected speed, it, is, um, it has, passes through a certain zip code, it has an expected travel time across that segment, it has a certain range of street addresses, and several other um, items of data, and it is actually a state road also commonly known as Route 259. This is a, a small GIS lesson in the difference between a geography, a geographic feature, a line segment, which represents a piece of road, and the attributes, the information that is attached to that line segment. Additionally, this application also includes a listing of the parcel information in Town of Parma, and each of the 6,300 and some parcels that make up the town of Parsa, Parma are represented on this map. Um, we can zoom in and view these parcels um, and see that um, each parcel is clearly within a single zoning area. And additionally, I can demonstrate the um, attributes of a particular parcel, which are quite um, substantial. And this is a this is a um, agriculturally oriented property with uh, no no home on it, and other characteristics of this are listed in the attribute table. Having both polygons representing the parcels and polygons representing the zoning district allows us to ask not only to locate a particular parcel within its zoning district, but to do analysis and ask some very significant questions 
about this particular township. For example, one question that could be asked and answered is what is the extent or size of each of the zoning areas in the town of Parma? And we can see from this table that rural residential and agricultural conservation are by far the largest zoning areas in town of Parma with a total of about 67 percent or two-thirds of the town. Medium resi density residential is also significant, village of Hilton, and other land uses. We can go ahead and view this in any way that is useful to the town or anybody working with the town as a pie chart showing each of the land uses with this key and we can also answer a question such as uh, which employs a third data set census information and how the census and population information relates to various zonings and we can see based upon census data location of people and the zoning categories that agricultural and conservation as expected has the lowest population density at 0.28 persons per acre on the average and inside the village of Hilton the population density is over five persons per acre. Also from census data we can discover that medium density residential and agricultural and conservation are the zoning areas with the highest percentage of owner occupied homes and these are extremely high numbers as, as well. These are very high. Town as a whole having 83 percent. These zoning um, areas having an owner-occupied housing units over 91 percent. Other analyses are possible by bringing in the parcel data which includes land valuation, land assessments, and this analysis will reveal other interesting and perhaps useful data such as the total assessed value within each of the zoning districts, the value of the land alone, not including structures, the total value, assessed value per acre in each of these zoning areas, and the total assessed value of the land alone in each zoning area. And, as expected, based upon um, typical agricultural districting regulations, the land value and, and other factors, the land value in agricultural and conservation area is the lowest among the zoning areas, which, is, which provides an opportunity for farmers to continue to farm. And the land value is highest within the commercialized and very dense village of Hilton. In fact, the land value per acre, including structures and development in Hilton, is by far the highest. I hope that this demonstration not only illustrated the data set, zoning data set that's available, but also how a geographic information system might be used to ask questions about the town and hopefully it will help you to think of new questions at some point down the road that can be answered using GIS.